Okay, hello everyone. What I will show today is the um, uh, light version of my USB USB safe key project, and I built um, a Debian package for uh, Raspberry Pi Zero for the Raspbian, and I used the la latest Raspbian of November, 27 November, I think. So actually, what I have is a uh, P0 with some Debian package installed and then my package installed and an attached to the USB device. What will this package I built do um, is this thing. So actually um, my um, the, 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 this um, this package will build a, a hotspot an hotspot or if I old spot that it will call safe USB key. You have to connect to the safe USB key and then connect to the uh, these others. 192.168.01.8000 slash browse. And this, uh, this um, package will show you the content of the the browser through a browser uh, the content of the USB key so you are safe to control the USB key before a plug inside a, a computer or if you want to for example use an iPad and you want to access a USB pen drive and you are on the go so you just need a battery pack and uh, you are very by zero with this package inside zero W sorry with this uh, package inside and you can uh, upload and download file to the USB pen drive and uh, this is a file manager I built in last month and um, so for example let's see if we can go to um, this folder and we have some files we can delete files um, we can upload files through this uh, mod form and uh, for example let's try to delete something are you sure you want to delete yes delete completed and then it will go back to the uh, the folder and then you can go up again and check the device the other the other um, folder this is useful if you want to or if you are afraid when you have uh, you found for example a pen drive or someone give you a pen drive and you are not uh, sure that uh, he, the pen drive is um, clean from viruses these are temporary folder of some um, system this is OS X this is maybe um, Linux and so on so how it's possible to to build your own um, safe you safe USB key project. Uh, first of all, you have to install Raspbian. You have to con to be able to Rasp to install Raspbian on a Raspberry Pi Zero W, and then connect to the Wi-Fi network and install some package. In, you have to install. Um, Okay, let's see. I will write it down here. Okay, you you have to install OSTPD, DNS mask, and OGS. These three package will allow you uh, the my project to works. Then you have to remove, delete the VPS supplicant configuration because in, uh, if the device will find uh, a known um, Wi-Fi network uh, vpsupplicant.conf and inside the vpsupplicant.conf it will um, uh, connect to the that network and not will it will not create the host, um, access point configuration and so 
after you have installed the, the packages um, I think it's uh, important to delete the wpsduplicant.com and in the end delete or, or at least remove the Wi-Fi network from them and in the end you can go to sorry before delete the config, Wi-Fi configuration it's better if you go to uh, Raspberry Pi my, my GitHub for easy coder 1999 and uh, Raspberry there is a folder Raspberry Pi project where I put every Raspberry Pi project I built in the next month and in the future and um, here there is a this Debian package this is save USB key dot deb and you have to download it and then install with the first option override so the option is this one oh sorry so it's sudo dpkg Meno e to meno install meno meno minus minus force minus override save you in the final and the the, uh, the package that is not final that's save you as we keep after that you have just to shut down the Raspberry Pi Zero and plug the pen drive you want to check um, why you have to you can't plug the sorry this is the right instruction so first install this three package then install my package then remove the OPS supplicant and at the end um store alt plug it and drive And at the end, uh, power the pen drive and go. Oh, sorry, power on the P0W and go with the browser. Sorry, connect to Wi Fi 7. Connect to Wi Fi, save USB key with password. Raspberry. Then go to. Of course, you can change the configuration. You have just to go inside the OSTPD configuration file and edit the, the password. And the the password is the the default password also for uh, if you install a fresh uh, Raspbian. It's better if you upgrade also the uh, PI user password. And after that, uh, you can open the browser to to this page. That is um, so. Open the browser to, and that's it. And and uh, at the end, right now I didn't upload. Uh, I will do, but uh, right now there is no. Um, power off button to safely shut down the P0W so if you want to safely close the P0W you have to go to through SSH and do sudo alt but if you are going somewhere it's, it's uh, enough to just unplug the, the P0 and I will put but mm, I will put a um, uh, in the this Omega web browser, I will uh, put uh, in the extra section some some links to just shut down the pro the device when uh, it finishes. It. Um, in the um, in the original project, um, this is a light version, but in the original project, this is the the case. Uh, the case of the I built a box for the for this project inside there is a P0W and the the there are some feature for this project there are for this uh, this particular uh, device that are 
use our LED LID to just give some information and there is a, a button here so with this uh, version of this project uh, I was able to safely shut down the, the box this is pretty new so I will improve it in the, the next uh, month maybe you will add uh, some feature if you're interested if you are if you think it's a nice project that you like it please uh, leave a comment and tell me what you think and what do, do you want to to have inside this project so thank you uh, and spread the voice for this uh, PCROW project bye bye